This is the case of 10-year-old Haley Owens. At about 5 p.m. February 18th of 2014, Haley Owens is walking home from a friend's home. When she is walking home, she is approached by a man in a tan Ford Ranger truck asking her for directions. As Haley approaches the car further, the man pulls her into the truck and flees. Neighbors Carlos and Michelle witness the abduction. Michelle gets on the phone with 911 immediately while Carlos runs on foot trying to capture this truck. Meanwhile, another neighbor gets in their vehicle and they are chasing down the truck as well. After a few minutes, the man in the truck is able to lose the neighbors that were following him. Meanwhile, Carlos goes door to door in the neighborhood looking for Haley's parents, giving everybody a description of her. He runs into a little boy who then tells him that that sounds a lot like his sister. He then leads Carlos to Haley's parents' home. Neighbor Michelle also wrote down the license plate to the truck. The license plate leads police to Jim and Regina Woods' home. They then let police know that that vehicle belongs to their 49-year-old son, Craig Woods. Once police get to Craig Woods' home, they do a further search. During their search, they do find the body of Haley Owens in his basement. She was in two garbage bags and a storage tote. Autopsy does reveal that Haley was sexually assaulted, tied up, and then she was shot in the back of the head. Craig Woods also worked at a nearby middle school for 16 years as a coach, as well as a teacher aide and a substitute teacher. Now inside of Craig's home, they do find dozens of weapons as well as handwritten stories by Craig about fantasies that he had about the young girls at the school that he was working for, as well as all their pictures and some CP as well. CCTV footage also does capture Craig throwing Haley Owens clothes inside of a dumpster, as well as buying two bottles of bleach and some liquid plumber. November 2nd of 2017, Craig Woods is found guilty of first degree murder against Haley Owens. Now the jury does leave the judge to decide whether or not he should get the death penalty. In 2018, the judge does decide that Craig Woods should get the death penalty. He is now currently waiting in death row.